Hey everyone, I literally sat here for like 10 minutes not recording because I just didn't know what to say. Um, first off, I just want to say I just hit 1 million views today and yo, that was really exciting. So thank you for like helping me get there. So besides the point, um, I just had like a complete brain fart. Okay, so anyways, I've been meaning to film this video for a while, which is what I say about every freaking video. By the title, you know that I'm doing a haul today. I'm doing a Sheen haul, and I'm hoping to put you guys on Sheen because I didn't know about it until this year, and yo, that shit is gas. Okay, so anyways, the reason why I haven't been able to film this video for so long is because I kept going on Sheen and I kept ordering shit. So in total, I think I had like five shipments and that was probably spread out over the time of like two months. So I added up all the prices of everything. It came out to be a little over $600. And I will tell you this right now. I never spend money like that. And I am kind of horrified that I did that. But the reason I did is because if you haven't seen my last video, when I went home for the summer and I left all my stuff in a storage unit, my storage unit got broken into and all my stuff got fucking stolen. So thank God insurance got my back. And so I was able to have a little extra money to get some things again, like a new wardrobe. That's why I kind of went so ham on this. Yeah, I feel like what I got really represents a new style I'm going for and this is the most me I've ever felt in clothing so I'm really happy and excited for you guys to see what I got. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Okay. This is my second try at doing the voiceover because holy shit, this is going so much faster than I thought it would because I edited the footage before I did the voiceover so I thought I'd have more time to talk, but no. Okay, so this is the first outfit I put together and here's the white purse that is my new favorite purse ever and here are the cute new white boots that I scuff up because I am clumsy. And then everything on me is from Sheen except the belt and the chain, the thick chain. Yeah, that thick chain is from Paxon and that belt couldn't tell you where it's from. And then that white purse, the nice thing is it comes with a strap so you can put it on your shoulder. And then I also got this was it asymmetrical top. I love it and I love how it has a metal hook at the bottom. And then I also have this jacket, pretty cute. It's a weird material. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it, but I still vibe with it. Now you can see me struggling with this corset top. And because I have no boobs, it doesn't fit me properly. So I have to have my shoulders back or else it looks really weird. Here's this hat. I love it. I think it's the cutest hat I've ever seen. That tank top, so comfy. I can wear it whenever, just around the house, anything. The shitty thing about this bucket hat though is that the chains are super long for whatever fucking reason. And so I'm going to cut them at some point, but right now I'm taping them and I'm just throwing them up. Okay, here's a completely new outfit with new top and new jeans. The jeans have shrunk in the wash and the dryer and those heels, love, love, love them. Um, those are definitely fake. Don't get it wrong. I roll my jeans too. Here's another top that kind of went along with the asymmetrical white tank top I had. Pretty cute. I got a lot of compliments on this top. The next top, as you can see when I put it on, it looked like a normal tank top, but then you throw it over the head and then it becomes another asymmetrical top. And oh my gosh, I feel like Kylie Jenner when I wear this. I feel like she always does the like Kylie Jenner boob hold. So I always try and recreate that, but because I don't have any, it, it doesn't work out that well. 
And then here's the purse. This used to be my favorite one before I got the other one. And then this also comes with a strap. Love that you can also have it on your shoulder. And then I also got this um, zip um, long sleeve thing. I, yeah, you can, um, I don't know, adjust the zips and then it's pretty cute. Yeah, you can show skin. You can see me struggling with the back of this leather, fake leather top. Pretty cute, pretty badass. Overall, I would say everything from Sheen pretty accurately. This top I think is so cute on, but wearing it out, nah, I wouldn't suggest it because like you can't be very active in it. Raising your hands above your head, no go because you will be showing the world your nips and everything. Yeah. Here's just a plain cropped sweatshirt and yeah i just needed some stuff just plain and basic as you can tell i love neutrals and i'm a cold person so i gotta keep warm and then i got this jacket that i felt could go with any kind of sweatshirt and then this cute little set i love these shorts i think are the cutest shorts i've ever seen that top the slit I think flatters the body really well. Oh, these pants. I don't know why I'm crazily dancing. Oh, at one point I started playing music, so that's probably why. I'm trying to show you heels again. Love those heels. These pants, yo. I've been really on like geometric shit. And yeah, these pants I'm living for. Oh. These pants are my favorite. Okay, so you can see I'm straight up struggling with this chain that's attached to this tank top. Yeah, it was, it's a horrible time trying to get on. But like once it's on, it's pretty cute and like it's twisted. Obviously, if I was going somewhere, I'd take the time to untwist it, but nah, I'm not gonna do that right now. Sorry, guys. I think this fit, like even though it's like, half sweatpants i would go out in it have my black heels on too like yeah that's a fit definitely okay and then i have a side of me that loves big t-shirts so i definitely got a few and i saw this one where it looked like two sheet two t-shirts were put together oh my god were put together and i just love that it looks amazing and then i got these pants that like got big but they wrinkle so easily i hate it this shirt also had to get it, you know it. And then those shoes I had on, they were just basic tennis shoes. Yeah, I want the filas, but like I'm a poor bitch, you know? Love this shirt because I am in Arizona right now and I love space. This sweatshirt is like the only colorful thing I got and I love it, one of my favorite pieces. I'm noticing now that I never fixed my strap on the hoodie and that's really bothering me, but I'm over it. Okay, and then here's me. This is me a few hours later. As you can tell, um, my computer's on my bed. I'm in the middle of editing and I realized I forgot to show you a couple pieces. So here's a white cropped sweatshirt. And yeah. <laughs> and then I got this black fake leather shirt long sleeve that I've had my eye on this forever and I've wanted it and H&M has been sold out of it forever but then I finally saw it on Sheen and I was like okay I have to cop and so yeah best purchase. Okay, and then here's the swimsuits I got. This white one. Okay, so I've never been a fan of white just because it's like, if you get your period or something, girl, you're in trouble. But like, you know, YOLO. <laughs> but I really like the swimsuit, definitely. You can only wear it if you have small boobs, definitely, yeah. Um, this one, also giving me Kylie Jenner vibes. 
I love the whole asymmetrical thing. Yes, yes, yes. Black. Oh, I'm living. Here I am thinking I'm Kendall Jenner. Girl, what the fuck? Girl, what you doing? Okay, and then this swimsuit is probably like my favorite swimsuit I've ever seen. I love it so much, but the thing about it is that, oh, you will suffocate yourself. Like if you're trying to take pictures, you're gonna suffocate yourself because even though you don't intentionally try and tie the string tight, it just like falls and it tightens and it's just... Yeah, it's hard to breathe, and you have to constantly keep adjusting it, but, like, super cute for pics, though. So, like, yeah, I would still suggest, like, if you're trying to do that thing, yeah, with pictures, uh-huh. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry you're having to, like, witness all this. Um, I don't know what's going through your mind, like, people have places to be. Yeah, I just got done filming that and I was trying on clothes for so long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that if you're thinking about going on Sheen or whatnot, I think it's very affordable, very cheap, easy to get lots of points and rewards and the place is just good quality. I have yet to get anything where it's subpar, where it's damaged, fringing or anything, like it's all good. So yeah, definitely recommend it and thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe yeah i'll see you guys later and i still haven't gotten less cringier about that okay bye guys